You know, we've just, um, you know, way back in uh, June, I, I don't think we ever really talked about the Big 12. You know, we talked about what we, what our June's, June is like. Our June is um, getting our new guys. You know, we're so used to losing four starters every year. We were going to June, we had lost Jarris Walker, the eighth pick, Marcus Sasser, the 25th pick, Jamon Mark transferred, and, and um, um, may he rest in peace, we had a kid that passed away. And that started a lot of games, so we basically lost four starters. So the last thing you're thinking about is a, a, a new league. You're thinking about replacing four starters. Um, then we had, uh, you know, a, a, a freshman in JoJo Tuckler, who we knew was going to have to come in and help us, and, and he did until, uh, you know, we lost him um, last week. And then. Um, uh, J1, who's the ultimate warrior, he's still playing with one hand. You know, he's got seven stitches right here in the web of his, his right hand. Just split his web, and it's really, really sore. So we only kind of had half of him. Um, then Terrence Arsenault, you know, tears his Achilles. Ramon Walker sprains or, um, his uh, lat lateral meniscus. So we, we've had our share of injuries, and... Adversity, but what what we still have is our DNA, you know, and that's and that's and that's. Uh, could we escort her out? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my daughter, by the way. <laughs> um, but you know, we've. I think this was our this is our sixth consecutive year winning the championship. That's where the DNA comes from. Our kids uh, know how to win. Uh, LJ, because he's such a high character kid and comes from such a tremendous family, fit right in. Um, Jamal was the clear leader of this team from uh, day one, uh, but his role had to change this year. Uh, Juan, you know, it's his fifth year in the program, his role had to change. Um, then Javier Francis, you know, he wasn't very good the first half tonight, but he was really good the second half. But you know, there's, you know, we we have this thing called disruption points that we focus on, and um, we scored uh, 22 points off their turnovers tonight. We scored uh, 20 points on second chance points. That was um, offensively, we weren't very good. Uh, free throw shooting, uh, we might as well have been shooting blindfolded half the time. Um, but what what we've been really good at here for a long, long time is we know how to win uh, the game. Um, some nights we we play great, and we're probably not nearly as good as people think we are. And then some nights we don't play very good, and you're trying to figure out how to ever win a game. But the the two the two things those things have in common is we 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 win both ways, and that's that's important to be able to do that. <laughs> What was going through your head when you saw Francis on the floor? You're not going to extend up then, but talk about what he did when he came back in, a couple of dunks, block shot. Yeah, well, I got on Jamal and J1 especially for the way he played. I said at some point, um, you know, most, you know, whether it was our Final Four team or the Elite Eight team or one of those uh, other Sweet 16 teams, different teams we've had, our best teams have always been player led. And I didn't think we were leading. Uh, the first half. I think everybody was, you know, that was an emotional kind of a hard fault game on uh, uh, Saturday. JoJo's surgery was this morning. He got moved back because the doctor weren't had done ASAP. And so we had uh, kind of a video thing with JoJo. Uh, it's like it's like we were everywhere but the game tonight. Uh, but once we locked in at halftime, and I got on Ma and Juan about the way Javier played. What do you want me to do? Scream and fuss and cuss at him? No, how, why don't you do it? You know, he's your, he's your teammate. You, you, you hold him accountable. And they did. And he responded. So really proud of uh, uh, Jay. Second half, we needed him. You know, first half, we just, we just weren't very good. Not taking anything away from UCF, but, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't play with a lot of pop. Didn't have a lot of uh, juice. But we went half halftime not playing very good. We're only down three. And then our transition defense uh, uh, took a sabbatical there the first two or three minutes of the half. But once we got, once we tightened our screws up, you know, um, 
you know, we, we know how to run our offense to the guy that's making shots. And um, I told Maul to quit, uh, keep shooting, and then when he missed three in a row, I said, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, let's, let's, let's give number four a shot at it. So, um, but I'm being facetious, but our, our – uh, you know, when you stand over on the sidelines, sometimes when it's a slow game or a half-court game, you've got to be a little bit of an offensive coordinator. So you just call your stuff to make sure the ball's in the player's hands you want the ball in.